So SRAM ETAP, do you know what you think SRAM ETAP is it worth a four thousand dollar price? What is it? Four thousand Aussie dollar? I mean, it says two thousand pound. Is that four thousand Aussie dollar? I mean, now I don't think the SRAM ETAP is a bad thing, but I wouldn't be paying four. I could afford. I could buy one Group Seven the first come out, but it's something that I don't see, in my opinion, is worth the money. If you want to get one because you like gadgets, then go and get it. It's not going to be a bad thing. Why would I get it? Four thousand bucks. I mean, just for the money, I could buy a giant to defy on sale with the Shimano Di2 Durace for probably four, four and a half in Australia. Uh, defy, you know, good bike or a giant TCR even. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Shimano. I'm not sponsored by Giant. I'm not sponsored by SRAM. Every time you see me do a video like this, this is my honest, unbiased opinion. Uh, GCN recently did a video. GCN is a marketing channel, and I support those guys 100%. I think they've got some great content. I understand those owned by Shift Media, I think so, and it's marketing, you know, so it's product placement. What you see from me when I talk like this is 100% unbiased review. Now, so my opinion on the SRAM ETAP is that I don't think it's necessary for me, but it might be for you. All right, so uh, the negatives for me is it's got the CR20. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though. It's got those little coin batteries in the shifters, so you've got to replace the batteries all the time. Um, which I do in my stages power meter, not a bad issue, but in my shifters, I just, I don't know, like it's just, just more batteries, I don't know. <laughs> There's shifters, having batteries and shifters feels a bit weird. And the weight, it's extra weight for what benefit? Correct me if I'm wrong, is it extra weight? Is it extra, I'm pretty sure it's extra weight. So we've got extra batteries, we've got extra weight, we've got extra, almost, almost three times the cost of a SRAM Red group set off eBay or your local deal or whatever, Weagle or Chain Reaction, wherever people get them from these days. So it, for me, it's it's a lot of coin for not much. But if people like the gadgets, then yeah, get it. I think the Asian market would be big for that because they love the gadgets over here. Um, if you snap a derailleur, again, it's like DO2, it's going to be expensive. What I do like is lack of cables and things hanging off, so aesthetically, yeah. you know. But again, I think that it's a bit of an overkill and at $4,000, I think it's over the top, in my opinion, and I wouldn't personally buy a group set, even though I could afford a group set. Now, I wouldn't buy it because it's bad. I don't think it's a bad product. It just doesn't make any fucking sense to me. It doesn't make any fucking sense to me. But if I'm going to show out four grand, I could buy a lot of other better things. I could buy four power meters for four different bikes. So that's my opinion on the SRAM ETAP. Write down your opinion down below of the SRAM ETAP. SRAM will read this, they'll watch this, and maybe some feedback for them. So post down below what you think of it, I'll show what I think of it, my honest opinion. Let us know down below. But I think it's cool that there's more innovation in cycling. I think that's really good. I think it's really good. Even if I think it's pointless, that sort of group set, in my opinion, I think it's great that there's these things going on. So it's a sign of the good things. Post down below, what do you think of SRAM ETAP? First world problems.